getting the Rabbit ECU running on the Arduino Duo. I'm not Italian, so I don't say the word to do a do a search for Rabbit ECU, and the first one comes up is the MDAC. Now we'll click on that, and we get to this page. Next, we go to support documents. So we open that page. Then on that, we go to guides and help. And these are the actual instructions which I'll be expanding on. Go back to support documents. Scroll down until you get to the MDAC MapMate latest software. Just remember this password. Also download the Rabbit firmware and remember this password as well. Extract the MDAC software and the firmware. Go into the MDAC folder and run that, remembering the password we found on the download page. The Arduino Duo has two USB ports the programmer USB port and the native USB port. If you plug into the native USB port the device manager will show unknown device and no matter what you do you won't be able to get rid of it. So we'll plug into the programmer USB which is near the power socket. If you look on the bottom the names are written there. After plugging into the programmer port in device manager will either get an unknown device or if you have Arduino IDE installed it'll come up as an Arduino driver. Just, just imagine this is an Arduino driver here. Now we right click on that, update driver, browse my computer for driver and then we'll browse to your main drive C till you get to MDAC and then you go into ECU host and down to drivers and then press OK. Now let me pick a list from my computer. I have the disk. We browse again and we get this MTEL Devices CDC. Click on that, open. OK that. Now we come down here to where it says Communication Device Class ASF Example. Click on that. Go next and it will be installed. Click yes and continue. I've already done this so I'll close it down. And it'll come up as communication device class AF example. Next we'll unplug from the programmer USB and plug into the native USB. But to get a driver installed on this port we need to hold down the erase button while clicking the reset button. Then the unknown device in Device Manager will switch to an MDAC driver. In Device Manager we'll get a new driver come up. Notice how the other one was COM24 and this one's COM26. Now this won't be, ri this won't be written here as Communication Device ASF, but if you look on the Guides and Help, it'll come up as a driver called MapMate or something like that rather than this communication device driver. When it says MapMate we can now install the firmware. We download Bossa, go to the bottom, the Bossa binaries and then you pick the one for your operating system which one of these they are and download that. We go to our download, we have the BOSSA software and we'll install that. Now we'll run the BOSSA software. Here we'll pick the serial port 26. See this cannot connect because it hasn't got the right MDAC driver here, but we'll assume it's connected. Then here we'll browse for the firmware, which is the expanded firmware that we downloaded previously. This will also need uh, a password, the MDAC password. Once we've selected that, we'll select the eraser and the boot to flash and then write. 
Mine is not highlighted because the MDAC driver is not in there, but let's assume it wrote to it. Then all you do is unplug the DU and then plug it back into its native port and this driver will come up and it will now be able to communicate. Next we'll start the MDAC software. If you have an antivirus it might not like this so you'll have to give it a permission. And you see a plethora of boxes. Now to select an individual box, you will, here is the contents. You will click on it. We will select primary timing graph. We notice there's nothing in it and all our tables are empty. So we go up to calibration file, open cal, and there's one in there as an example. Select the rabbit one, open, and you notice the tables are now all full and the graphs fill up. After that, it's pretty much up to you to work out the tune.